Is fast food actually that fast? Today we put one of my personal favorites, Taco Bell's Crunch Wrap Supreme, to the test. So the video is simple. I'm gonna send my brother out to the closest Taco Bell to get a Crunch Wrap Supreme. And then while he's out doing his thing, we're gonna make our own Crunch Wrap Supreme right here live in the kitchen and see if I can do it faster before he gets back. Then secondly, when he does get back with that Crunch Wrap Supreme, we've gotta do a taste test to see which one is better. All right, Gabe, your mission is simple. You gotta go pick up a Crunchwrap Supreme. Never thought this would be a justifiable business expense, but here we are, let's go. Hi everybody, so let's begin. And we are gonna do this completely live, so any mess ups or anything weird that happens, all gonna be captured. Oh, well. Um, I am gonna start a timer too. Um, I'm gonna guess I have roughly 20-ish minutes. I think the, the Taco Bell is only like a mile or so away. Um, but I, anyway, I, I really do have to get going. So I'm actually not gonna use this tomato. That was just used for framing the shot purposes. Again, I don't really have anything pre-prepped. I've actually gotta do all this stuff very, very quickly. Make sure I have everything. So I've got tomatoes. We have lettuce. Sour cream, lime, I need this, I uh, don't need that. Need the beef. So this is kind of my toppings tray right here. We're gonna do lettuce, tomatoes, got the lime, got sour cream, hot sauce. Also, I feel like I'm scurrying around. I probably don't need to be, it's probably not. I probably do have plenty of time. Um, then we need spices for the beef. Garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, where are my cumin seeds? Cumin seeds. A pinch of MSG as well. Okay, so this should be, I think, all the toppings that we need. Ooh, I was gonna do pickled onions, I ran out. Ah, do I have time? Yep, we're gonna do it. All right, I've got my, I've got an onion out. I meant to make pickled onions last night and forgot promptly. Oh, well, I just flipped the tray over. All right, so pickled onions, super simple. I just like to kind of pre-do this, so I'm just throwing some vinegar into that. Man, that. That was unfortunate that that happened. I'm um, gonna fill this up about equal parts water. Um, big pinch of salt in there. And then I need a pan to heat that up. On high. And just pour this in here. And then that's gonna be our container. And that just kind of helps pre-get so you know roughly how much, you know, liquid you actually need in there. Got our knife. It's a massive red onion. I'll probably only need half of this. And we will do some live check-in with Gabe just to see where he is on his journey just because I'm pretty curious as well. But yeah, fast food I feel like is one of those things where, like yeah, if you're on like a, a road trip and obviously you don't have access to a kitchen or something like that, yeah, that's, it's a great option. I mean, I love fast food, like let's be honest, who, who doesn't like fast food? Um, but as far as like, you know, making like a stop or like, you know, maybe you're at home and you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna go out and, you know, grab something real quick. I don't think it's all that fast. Um, or maybe like ordering Uber Eats. Like a lot of times I feel like, I'm just like, man, I can really just literally make something very similar in, you know, about the same, if not less the time. So that's kind of the idea behind this video. Normally I would cut that other half, but I, I really can't be wasting too much time. So we're gonna put that aside. 
Um, eyes are watering a little bit. Love that. All those lacquer maters. And then we'll do the beef. We gotta get the beef. That's really the, the big one to get done. I mean, that's really the only cooking. This is honestly probably a pretty easy thing to get done within you know 15 minutes. So I've got the induction burner. Um, just gonna rip this up on medium high. Then I've got just one pound of, I think this is, 85.15, so a little bit a little bit more on the lean side, but not super lean. Oh, and then also two more things. Tomato paste. And we're gonna do a little bit of beef stock in here as well. All right, so this should be getting, I mean, this thing heats up super fast, which is nice. Just double checking on that back there. Yeah, we're like already smoking. So I'm just gonna toss this in here. Wipe that hand clean. Then immediately we're just gonna come in with our salt, nice big pinch. And then I'm actually gonna grind up this, these cumin seeds a little bit. I think we're about, what, like eight minutes in? Six, six, six minutes, 45 seconds. Not too bad. And then I'm just gonna add roughly, I'm probably going two parts cumin and then like one part onion and garlic powder. And then, yeah, probably about one part uh, cayenne and one part smoked paprika. Just like kind of a good all-purpose seasoning. And I'm actually gonna save a little bit of this. So we'll put a good hefty amount. That's probably about, I don't know, a tablespoon or so. And then we're also gonna add a little sprinkle of MSG, which I like adding to slightly leaner ground meats. And then we're just gonna use our potato masher and get in after this. And this potato masher is really what's gonna, if you ever notice like, if you go to Taco Bell, it's like super fine and pebbly ground beef. I mean, they're probably not using a potato masher, but they are definitely like grounding it up in some fashion, which is gonna get those individual pebbles, which I think are really nice. It also cooks faster too. So I'm just gonna let that kind of steam up a little bit and then eventually it'll start crisping on the bottom. So we'll put all our spices back. I've gotta get more cumin seeds. Perfect timing on this. So we've got our pickled onions. Just gonna pour that over. And again, since we pre-measured it, basically perfect amount of liquid. Boom. Now those will get really nice in color, like after, you know, a couple hours, but we only have probably 10 more minutes, if that. All right, so this is looking pretty good. 
Again, just browning this beef. And then what I like to do to bump up the flavor a little bit is add a little squirt of tomato paste. and just like a tiny little splash of uh, beef broth. And again, obviously you could, you can make this however you want. This is just kind of a quick, you know, gets me the, uh, the Taco Bell vibes in like 10 minutes. Let me see if I can get a, a close up for you guys. So you can see we got those nice little pebbles, juicy, beefy. Give it a taste. Yeah, that's solid right there. And then that's done. So super easy, super simple. I'm gonna slide this guy out of the way. All right guys, we just pulled into the parking lot. A little bit behind schedule, but oh well, so is life. Wiping down the work surface. And then, yeah, now we just basically need to prep our veg. So, very finely shredded lettuce. Nice and easy, simple. Um, we're gonna do that little grape tomato trick that I've shown a couple times. I think I initially saw um, Kenji doing this at one point. I think this is where I first saw it. I know it's, you know, there, there's a bunch of like food hacks out there. But super nice, just basically two lids and then you just slice down the center. So like if you're doing more than, you know, 10 or 15 of these, super easy way to kind of get those all chopped up like that. You know, I'm gonna just focus on this camera as well. We're doing everything live, baby. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that shot you guys just got in there. That's some little, little BTS action. Um, and then I'm gonna give these a rough, a rough chop again. Just make them a little bit smaller. I don't want like big uh, half tomatoes in there. And, and I do have that other tomato, but I just wanted to use up these, which is nice and easy. And then of course, we're gonna, we're gonna salt these too. Nice little thing to add some more flavor in there. Just a little bit, not much. Mix that up, we're good to go. So we've got our tomatoes, we've got our lettuce, we've got our pickled onions already starting to turn color. Lastly, we just need to uh, make a little lime sour cream with some Cholula. Now we'll use one of these. Again, another very, very simple thing to make that's just like a little bit better than the sum, or a little bit better than the, uh, the components separately. All right, guys, so it's 11.55 and I'm waiting for the dog to go right now. I hope I'm not running out of time. All right, so a little dollop of sour cream in there. Cholula, whatever hot sauce you want. I really like the green. I think this is like poblano, jalapeno and poblano, yeah. And then a little spritz of lime juice. Oh, you know what? I made a critical error, I just realized. Okay, we need to, we need a crisp, um, we need a crisp of corn tortilla. This is, this is what happens when you do things live. You kind of forget about things. So I'm gonna get this going really quick. Man, I can't believe I forgot this step. This might, uh, this might cost us. 
might cost us. We'll see. We'll see. So I do have, we got our corn tortillas and our flour tortillas. And I have some thoughts on these tortillas. I'll let you guys know in a second. But these are fresh corn tortillas from a Mexican grocery store. Super nice. So they're not yellow, but they're, they're the, you know, this color. And I'm actually going to do, they're a little bit on the thicker side. I'm going to do two of them just uh, in case I make a second um, crunch wrap later. So we're basically making a tostada. And I'm putting the oven on to broil. And I'm going to spritz these a little bit. And what's good about this aluminum baking tray is that it does transfer heat very well. Um, and that's what I was going to do with this. Yep. I'm going to add a little sprinkle of our seasoning on this as it crisps up. So under the broiler, good to go. Like hopefully these get crisp in time. I think we'll be okay. And then when I'm cooking for filming, I honestly just wipe everything onto the floor. Um, you know, it's just easier that way. I don't have, need, need to mess around with it. I uh, will uh, we'll sweep that up later, or, or usually Gabe sweeps it up for me, which is nice. So we've got our crema. Boom. We need to grate some cheese. Wipe off the knife. I think I'm done with it. My cheese grater. And this one. All right. Hopefully, hopefully we're doing all right on time. We'll see. I think I'm going to guess I'm about 20 minutes in. So he might be getting back soon. be enough for our purposes and again I think we might have we might have screwed the pooch a little bit by not starting these oh I did want to talk I did want to talk tortillas you got to get these big 12 inch ones like these are the best ones for um, crunch wraps just that extra like two inches I think most grocery stores are only gonna have like the they're probably the 10 inch ones these ones which like they'll work, but just having that extra like, you know, inch around the edge, super nice. And again, Mexican grocery store, great place for like the big boy wraps. That's like the ones that all, you know, the burrito places uses. I think Chipotle uses the same size. All right, get that out of the way. And then, yeah, now we're just gonna warm this up, so. I'm going to bring this guy back over. Start warming this up a little bit. Should go in the sink. Double check on these. Oh yeah, we're looking good in there. Let me show you guys a little live shot of this too. We're 18 minutes in by the way, 18 minutes. Video, yeah. Like, look at that. That's just, love that. Love to see that. Okay, big pan for a big burrito. Um, I don't want this super hot, but I just kind of want to warm it up. So I'm going to put this over low. And then I'm gonna add like half of this, I don't need all this right now, to start melting on our tortilla. Again, I think this was our fatal error. I could have had this going on like while we were doing everything else. But hopefully, hopefully we still beat him, we'll see. 
So I want this like warmed up, but I don't want it to get crisp. So I need to steam it a little bit. Fortunately, this lid's not big enough, but we're gonna do that anyway. So we got all our stuff ready. Man, time flies when you're in the kitchen. Well, we're getting close on those, very close. We're gonna switch up a camera angle. Normally I'd be manually focusing all this stuff, but since I'm doing it live, I cannot do that. Don't have the, the privilege. All right, so we got it coming in with our beef. Nice, healthy amount. Can't skimp on the beef. Taco Bell will skimp you on the beef. We're not gonna skimp on the beef. About another minute on that, and I think we'll be, we'll be good to go. Also gonna add a little dollop of this over the top. And then yeah, like I said, if we would've, if we would've got the, the tortilla, like we'd be done. So if he comes in the next like two minutes, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed because we would've had it done. Because all I need to do is just toast it and put the toast dada on there. Um, so. Again, we wait, we wait. Hopefully he ran into some issues. You know, I think this one's ready. Yeah, yeah. This one's not quite crispy. This one is definitely crispy though. All right, so we'll top that. Don't need that one. Sour cream layer on top, which not only a ton of flavor, moistness also is gonna help everything stick up on top there. All right, tomatoes. Shredded lettuce. Pickled onions. Again, another thing, normally I have these and you know, these are warm and hot. You know, I prefer them a little on the colder side. That's just me. But yeah, I think, I think we're gonna do it unless he shows up right now. All right, and then just to fold these, again, this is where the big, the big boy comes in, in handy because you can get all the way in there, right? You can completely envelop. A lot of times like, you know, if you see someone make these, like they may need to use like a second tortilla, like a, a smaller one, but with the big boys, not, not the case. And we are ripping a little bit, that's okay though. I unplug this. Again, sear in that bottom just to make sure we're all locked in there. And we're good, we've done it. Even if he comes through right now, I'm gonna say we've done it, just because we ran into some issues, I forgot to do the crispiness, I had to make pickled onions from scratch, so regardless of what happens, we've done a good job. And then I'm gonna check time to, should be about, I'm gonna say 23 minutes. 20, 26 minutes is what it's saying right now, okay. And you know what? To get a better little browning on top, I could give this a little, you know, I forgot they do kind of have that nice browning. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that signature Taco Bell crisp. Now we just gotta wait. Um, I wanna dive into this right now, but 
you know, we, we got to do them side by side. So, you know, maybe mine will be a little less good because we had to wait. We'll see. Also, I know the crunch wraps are not this thick and girthy. They're, I mean, I haven't had, actually I haven't had one in probably like two years, but I think they're pretty thin. Anyway, we're just waiting on Taco Bell's. So uh, I'll meet you guys back here when it shows up. You on your way back? Yeah. <laughs> Took a while. Oh no. So I had to drive around and then there was like 10 people in there. Oh, that's what I was wondering. I was like, was there a lunch rush? <laughs> it was very busy. I had to wait for a while. All right. All right. I'll see you in, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple. All right. Peace. Peace. That's what I'm saying, folks. Dude, like you come at a weird like lunch rush or dinner rush. There's always so many people in line. So, you know, he'll be back in a couple minutes. He was in the car. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll update you guys then. There he is. Let's see the goods. You can come, come around. I've been done for like almost 15 minutes probably. Really? <laughs> yeah. So the drive's only what, like six minutes? The drive was like seven minutes. Seven minutes. But then there was the parking issue. Yeah, we'll just use one. All right. All right. Oh, that's yeah. good. All right. All right, so we're finally back. We'll, uh, I gotta get some thumbnails, you know, first, and then we'll, we'll cut them open and do our taste test. Okay, so we'll do my taste test first. I'll also have Gabe try it in just a minute as well. Um, but I think, you know, from an aesthetic appeal, like we did way better than Taco Bell did. Um, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but these like literally have no beef in them. Like look at this cross section. I'll see if I can get a, a close-up shot for you. Like just look at the difference in that cross section. Way more beef. This has like, it almost looks like it, this has no actual beef in it. But let's give it a taste test first um, without sauce. Then we'll use some of the Taco Bell sauces, let's be honest. The Taco Bell sauce are pretty good. So, I mean, it's got that classic Taco Bell taste. I forgot they use um, nacho cheese in this, which is nice. Um, an okay amount of spice, but yeah, man, I haven't had one of these in a long time. I mean, it's fine for what it is, and I still love Taco Bell. Like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna eat it anyway. But uh, I'm interested to see how it compares to this guy. Lastly, we gotta do a little Diablo sauce test. You know, it's it's good it's good stuff. Yeah, I mean, way beefier, fresher. The beef is honestly just so much better too. I actually do really like the uh, not nacho cheese in the Crunchwrap Supreme. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a nice touch. Probably could have actually done that with some evaporated milk mixed in with the cheddar cheese. Um, I'll have to remember that for next time. But I actually do like the nacho cheese addition in there. But lastly, let's have Gabe give his test too. But all in all, a shocking success. And shockingly, this took forever. <laughs> Thoughts? See, the, the thing I love about Taco Bell is it has the signature Taco Bell texture. It does. It's like... It's kind of moist. It's just all kind of there. You got like creamy nacho cheese, lukewarm uh, sour cream. Yep. I mean, it's it's a it's something that you crave every yeah. once in a while. But also, I, can we talk about the looks between? The two? I mean, like, and the one this thing looks like what that looks on the advertisements. Yeah, yeah. And like, I mean, this is just pitiful. <laughs> yeah. Like when you when you bite in this, you're not tasting beef. You're just tasting cheese, beef flavor. Yeah. And then like sour cream, which is I mean, it's classic Taco Bell, but this looks. This looks Way like the more appetizing, yeah. Way fresher, way more meaty. Just, I mean, like the meatiness alone and the freshness from your vegetables, it just, it has a better 
texture, a better bite to it. Yep. I think the only thing that's missing out of that Taco Bell experience is that nacho cheese layer. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But all in all, I mean like, this was an annoying experience for me to get. <laughs> I mean, like, it's hard to beat that convenience factor. You know, you're driving home from work and you want Taco Bell. Right. But, like, if I was just sitting at home and I wanted to go out and grab Taco Bell, yeah. this, was a, this was really just a pain in the ass for me. No, um, even then, I mean, if you were on your way home, and it's, given how long it took yeah. you to park and actually waiting around to order, you still pr you could have made this in oh, the time at home. Exactly. And also, the this... You know, there's a, there's a, this won't make me hate myself as much. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it, it tastes fresher. It's more of a f fulfilling bite. Whereas this, it's just like, there's a lot of gloop. empty, yeah. emptiness, empty gloop. A lot of gloop and it just sits in your tummy. Yeah. Whereas this is like, you know, this is, it's very fresh. It's delicious. Um, and definitely, I, you definitely could easily make this and mimic these flavors at home. Yeah, I'll, the beef's pretty close, yeah? The, beef, the beef's great. Yeah. I mean, the great flavor to it. I would even say better. This well, even better has, beef, yeah, yeah. But it still kind of mimics that, that, that vibe. That and the one thing I will like, this has a, the beef has a little bit more spice. Yeah, it does. As compared to this one. This is definitely spicier. Um, which I really like. And the, like I said, the, you just look at the vegetable difference. Yeah. And I mean, these, I mean, it's, tomatoes are out of season, but regardless, these are still a lot, just taste a lot fresher. But yeah, this is, this is really good. Go, go enjoy, go enjoy. <laughs> All right, everyone, so to wrap this video up, a couple of important things. First, I will type up this recipe and it will be on my website if you guys wanna follow it exactly. And then as far as, you know, the competition between ourselves and Taco Bell, the time we absolutely destroyed them. I was kind of shocked just how long it ended up taking them. Again, maybe kind of an anomaly to be that long. Um, but on the other hand, you know, 25, like 30 minutes and I kind of made some missteps along the way with the pickled onions, not having them in my fridge like I normally do. Um, also waiting to crisp up that tortilla. So we had some kind of fun in the kitchen. And as far as from the taste, I mean, it's so much more just like, it feels healthier, it's beefier, um, you know, a lot more enjoyable. Again, it doesn't have like that kind of gloopy Taco Bell thing that like is kind of nice sometimes, not gonna lie. So I will still be going to Taco Bell, you know, on my road trips when I don't have access to my kitchen. But I think today concludes Crunchwrap Supremes, definitely easier to make at home, definitely better to make at home. So wrap it up for me in this one. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace, y'all.